Did you know NASA's first computer programmer was a black woman who taught herself coding in secret? In 1943, Dorothy Vaughn walked into the segregated West Area Computing Unit at NACA, one of the first black women hired as a mathematician. She spent her days calculating rocket trajectories by hand, solving complex equations that would launch America into space. But she couldn't eat in the same cafeteria as her white colleagues or use the same bathrooms. Despite supervising white mathematicians, she was denied promotions because of Jim Crow laws. Then in 1958, she saw the future coming. Electronic computers would replace human calculators. So she secretly taught herself Fortran programming language, studying manuals late into the night. When IBM machines arrived, she became NASA's first black supervisor, training both black and white programmers. Yet NASA deliberately kept her out of official photographs and histories. Her hidden work enabled Mercury, Gemini, and Apollo missions, while white male engineers received all the credit. For decades, the woman who helped put humans on the moon remained invisible. Until recently, her stolen legacy was finally revealed.